Hey everyone, I'm Ishan Funk. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm joined by a really awesome guest. Uh, she is a legendary voice artist, Wendy Lee. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for inviting me. Okay, so can you see this slide? Yes. It's called Wendy Lee Says What? Okay, this is gonna be okay. really fun. I'm gonna okay. show you a character. Uh, so I'm gonna show you a character and a little description about that character. And I want you to just kind of look at it and kind of describe how you would start to even figure out how you would come up with a voice for it. Like these are characters oh, like that character. have not, these are characters that have not had a voice tied to them awesome. yet. So I, I was just, yeah. I just want to know your thought process. You don't need to make the voice. I just want to know like, what are the things you look at? What are the thing, what, are, what questions come to your head? So um, yeah. So you ready? Right. What a good idea. Cool. All right. You're not yeah. being timed. I'm not going to score you. Okay. This is just for fun. Okay. Okay, so this is old oh! lady, old lady Faye Valentine. Okay, old she, lady. Well, she, she was twenty five. She was physically twenty five years old during the show, but she was actually seventy seven because she was cryogenically frozen, all that stuff. That's right. If she had lived, so there's a lot of debate about if she lived or she died at the end of the show. We don't know, but if she had lived forty more years, she would be one hundred seventeen. Wow. What do you think her voice would sound like now? It wouldn't change very much at all. She'd just have a little bit of uh, life experience coming through to find him. just a little here, time and again. Not a lot. She's still very much Faye, but she's got a little more experience. Yeah, and she's still hot. Yeah, no, I, it, you know, it's really funny. First off, that was amazing. That was, that was amazing. Uh, second, it's really interesting because I tried to Google like older Faye Valentine on, on the internet and there oh, is yeah. nothing. No, everybody's no, youth obsessed. Yeah, zero. Everyone's like, she doesn't age. And then that's true. She never did in the show, but I was just like, wow, no one's ever like tried to, you know, fantasize or figure out like, you know, what she would look like as an older person, but it doesn't exist. See, I think she would completely reinvent herself and embrace uh, aging. I think that she would be really proud of the years that she's lived now that she's got her whole backstory intact. And, and the fact that she comes from money, I mean, that's something that I, I forgot. Mm, yeah. Like, you know, she, her family was well-to-do. So there's always this classy thread that runs through her that I think she almost resented when she was young uh, because she identifies with, you know, more of a street uh, sensibility. But I think that she would be a little more exotic, a little more eccentric. And I think that she would be into like long fitted dresses and um, palatial velvet couch couches and I think she'd want to be really comfortable because she lives for action. And when that had been spent, she would want to embrace her last chapter. Yeah. So what you're saying is I should have made her like in sweats or like a really puffy <laughs> coat and like slippers. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think she would have a, a, an elegance that was just very, uh, that's right. Akin to her, that would compliment her because yeah. she's so stylish. Right, like, right. You have to remember her opera gown when she's, you know, early in the series. That's right. And, and she had some really good costumes that were um, that were elegant, flattering. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting because the Japanese actress, her first impression of Faye was that she was. Let me get the right word. Um, what was it? It's not uh, vulgar. She thought Faye was vulgar. You can see that. Yes, yeah, I can see so that. So funny. And I, I could see that. But she's but, not at all. But that's not at all who yeah. she is or how yeah. I saw her. It, I felt she was exploited by the yellow hot pants and the, and the I, I would pants. agree. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think that it just became signature over time. So then she was identifiable dressed that way. But I think it would have been more. Um, body revealing, body conscious, but stylish, always in keeping with the time and edgy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like she's she like wasn't, 
She wasn't dressing for other people. She was dressing for herself. I think so. Like yeah. comfort and also how can you quickly turn on your sex appeal or dial it down? Correct. Yeah. You always put the blouse back on and button it up. If totally. She to. Yeah. Yeah. But she, she rarely, did she ever do that? I don't think I I ever saw her. It, it was always on her arms. Or if anything, there's always a little shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. It, right. I think the times that I've seen the shirt on are, are fan art you know, yes. or, or artist art. Of correct. Her. Correct. Yeah. That's interesting. Wow. Where can people follow your work online besides all of the shows and the video games and the anime? Where can they, is there a place online that they can follow you? Oh, I just have a uh, Twitter, Wendy Lee VO and Facebook is Wendy Lee dash artist. And it's always all ease. W-E-N-D-E-E-L-E-E. -E -E -E. Thank all of you for joining us. Thank you for caring. Thank you for your support. And just know that we are all connected through this little genre of anime and games and entertainment and that our hearts are in our performances and that's what you connect with and it's meaningful and it matters. And thank you for caring. Well, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. It was an honor. And um, I would love to have you back on again at some point in the yeah. future. So, Let's do it again. Yeah, that was yeah. so nice. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. All right. See you, space cow people.